so Salad Stop started about six years ago in Singapore. Uh, my father and I uh, felt that there was sort of a need for a healthier option. Uh, and so we came together and, and with Tony um, to create a, a concept from scratch, which uh, really just brought some fresh food uh, and salads uh, to Singapore. And, uh, and I think, you know, we, we really sort of took on a, a challenge where, um, you know, Salads were, were not sort of part of, a, of, of sort of the diet in Singapore and I think we, we really wanted to sort of test the boundaries and, and push it to kind of new heights uh, with a lot of interesting dressings. I think, you know, a lot of uh, um, our time in Asia has inspired us to do um, a lot of local dressings. Um, we try to use as many local ingredients as possible. Um, and so we grew very quickly in, in Singapore for the first two years uh, and then slowly started branching out. Uh, we opened in the Philippines about a year and a half ago um, and now here we are in Indonesia. So a big part of what we try to do at Salad Stop is connect people back to their food and back to the farm uh, and really sort of be as open as, as un, and honest as possible. You know, we, we have nothing to hide. We, we be, we're really fully transparent. And, um, you know, a lot of what uh, Anga tries to do here and, you know, his sort of organic farming practices um, are very much what we believe in. And I think we, uh, we, we see more and more of that sort of change happening in, in this part of the world. And that's what we're particularly excited about to, to be able to partner uh, with farmers like this um, that, that, you know, truly have a mission and, uh, and a very um, sort of uh, focused way of, of, of looking at uh, their practices and, and having a strong sort of sense of belief uh, in um, using as little uh, chemicals as possible and if possible none at, none at all uh, and, and, you know, tr really trying to bring the whole farm to table concept um, to, uh, to this part of the world. And I think, you know, people are looking for more answers. They're looking to find out more about the food. Uh, and I think, you know, we see ourselves as sort of uh, uh, a catalyst in, in that change. You know, if, if we can be the ones that work with the farm uh, and, uh, and the local community, um, to connect people back to their food uh, and back to nature, you know, that's a big part of what we, what we try to achieve. Some of the biggest problems now with food is just a sort of a lack of honesty and transparency. Um, I think that's, that's something that we see happening in, in Singapore, we see it happening in Manila. Uh, I think it's, it, it is, uh, you know, uh, I think we feel it's a, sort of a right for every customer to know where their food comes from and how it's been produced. When I joined Salad Stop, it's a fantastic opportunity that we step further out from the kitchen. That uh, is a learning journey that made me, you know, I can go out, talk to the farm, we find the right ingredient. And now I know it's a responsibility that uh, we're finding a good and right ingredient to put in the bowl. The future for Salad Stop, of course, is to grow uh, organically within the region and also to participate with the society uh, wherever we are so that people are eating much healthier and they are also enjoying what they eat. And um, we, we serve about uh, an average per month of 85,000 customers, which is of course very encouraging and that shows that there are people who are interested in eating healthy. And eating wide awake for us is to, it's a movement. It's something that we wanted to be able to emulate with our customers and say, not only for yourself, but for your children and for everyone else, your friends and, uh, and family members, for you to be able to be uh, eating healthy. Um, yes, Salad Stop is a, uh, is a great opportunity for us to work as a family uh, and promote uh, the values of a brand that we truly believe in all across the region. Uh, and the response uh, that Salad Stop's received in the region has been phenomenal. Uh, first here in Singapore and then the Philippines. We now have uh, Japan, Indonesia, and 
soon Hong Kong and Malaysia uh, in the pipeline. I think that one of our main goal is to go, uh, to be more accessible to people, uh, get a wider audience and customer base, you know, and make sure that uh, uh, a healthy dish or a healthy lifestyle uh, is not only uh, accessible to rich people or the, the well-off, but, uh, but everyday people. Sure. You know, the idea is to work very closely with our suppliers uh, and farmers and, making, and, and basically making sure that they don't use um, uh, GMO products, uh, pesticides, uh, fertilizers as much as possible. So we try and impact with you know, volume uh, the supply chain as much as possible in order to get healthy products. So we work very closely with our nutritionists. Uh, we have a full nutritionist in-house at Sarsop. We also work closely with our partners at the Camden Medical Center, the nutritional clinic, and um, as well as our corporate chef to include uh, optimal nutrition as well as um, the best taste possible for the customer. So we make sure that the combination of ingredients, for example, to have greens and a fat, will then absorb um, more of the nutrients in the body. So it's an easy um, absorption. And um, so that will be, you know, everyone working together to make sure that we reach and make the perfect salad. <laughs> Um, for us, we, we tell customers that we do the homework for them. So they don't have to worry the moment that they step into the salad stop. Everything is taken care of, from our drink selection to our pastries to our dressings to obviously all of the ingredients that are at the salad bar. Um, we do feel that a lot of times people think that they eat a salad and that the meal itself is very healthy, um, but the dressing is very, very high in fat, in cholesterol, in saturated fats. We obviously take um, very um, big steps to ensure that our dressings you know, use extra virgin olive oil, we use coconut oil, we only use the best oils available. We also make sure that all the ingredients are made from scratch, we don't use any paste, we don't use any MSG trans flavors. Um, also in terms of the pastries, we use oil instead of butter. We also use a lot of gluten-free flour. And um, for the drink selection, everything that we serve is below a certain amount of sugar as well and um, using natural ingredients like our cold-pressed juices um, as well as the supplier juices that we get in.